All right, so what I'm going to show you right now is how to assemble this bridge rectifier. And I want it shown or done or wired exactly like it looks. So I want the actual bridge rectifier like that. I want the diodes in a diamond shape. Capacitor, the RS resistor horizontally, the Zener diode vertically, and then the RL. So we'll be using a breadboard for this and you'll have a kit, or from your kit, I should say, you're gonna get all the semiconductors necessary. Your kit should look like this at all times, nicely organized, so that you know exactly where everything is. So what we need here is four diodes to form the bridge rectifier. All right, so right there. The four diodes are right here. The first, second, third, fourth, fourth column four diodes that could be the 4001 or 4007. All right, so when I say I want them to look exactly like what's on paper, what I mean is if we start with the diode on the upper right-hand side, notice that the diode is anode cathode. So if we look at the diode itself, whoops, all right, The part with the silver band is the cathode. So we'll take it, we'll put it in. Right, so this one here is the, or this side here is the anode, that side there is the cathode. We tap off with the positive, we go into one of these sections here. So anode cathode what we'll do next is this diode right here cathode anode so band no band but they have to meet up so we're going to meet up in this section right here so we said cathode and then anode so cathode and the an anode will go to the negative okay so anode to cathode, cathode and anode connected together, anode going to your negative. The one on the upper left hand side is cathode anode. So if we take the diode, the cathode is on the upper side of this diode. We're gonna place it in the positive band. Okay, put it into that section there. And then we're missing the bottom left-hand side, so they have to meet up here. The anode, or the anodes meet up, and then the cathode or side with the band goes toward the bottom. So, I've got the anode and the cathode, okay? So I'm just doing this quick with one hand, so it's not perfect, but at least you get the picture. We have a diamond shaped bridge rectifier and we have a diamond shaped rectifier here. Okay, so from the kit, we're gonna get a capacitor, 22 microfarad capacitor. They are polarized, so if you don't want them to blow up, you've gotta make sure you put them in the right way. So if you notice the band here, if we can just focus. There, that band has a negative on it, the negative goes at the bottom. In other words, it goes right here, and the other end goes to the top. All right, so we'll put this in. Make sure that the negative is at the bottom. We'll put the jumpers in afterwards. The next thing is a Zener diode. So the Zener diode from the kit. Make sure it's the appropriate one, depending on what the voltage is. So with the Zener, the Zener is in backward. If you notice, it's the cathode anode. So the cathode is the part with the band on it. So we'll take that and I'll try to insert it here. All right. Now we'll get the RS, the RS which is right here. We're gonna grab that resistor there 
and we have to make sure that it joins the top with the this diode, the Zener diode, and the, also the top with the capacitor. So we'll line that up right there, and the other end, the top of the capacitor. Right, so here we have it. We're going to add the RL resistor, so the load resistor on the right hand side. We'll put that, we'll just move it a little bit toward the right of the circuit. All right, so all the semiconductors are in place. All we have to do now is put jumpers from here to there, the bottom of the resistor here to the bottom of the Zener diode to the bottom of the capacitor. Now, this would be the positive. This will be the negative. At this point, we have DC. If we look at the bridge rectifier, we have AC going into the top and bottom. And these two, the right and left-hand side of the bridge rectifier is where we get the positive and negative. The right hand side will feed a positive to the top portion and this negative part here will have a jumper going to the bottom. You have to make sure that none of these leads here actually go to the negative here. That's a common misinterpretation. If we look at the schematic diagram we have AC going in at the top and the bottom and then we have one lead going and feeding all the semiconductors and we have the third base, if you will, feeding all the bottom of the semiconductors. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do this quick, um, but I want you to take your time and make sure the wires are sitting nice and flat. The top wires, all the jumpers here have to be red and the bottom, since it's negative, think of your car or car battery, that'll be black. The jumper going to this end here will be black as well. So once the jumpers are in, this is more or less what it should look like. Like I said, try to keep it as clean as possible. So the, the left-hand corner of the bridge rectifier is feeding the negative to all the conductors, the semiconductors, and the right-hand corner, or first base if you will, is feeding the top portion. Make sure that you do not put a jumper between uh, this point here and that point there, which would be directly in parallel with the resistor because you'd be shunting out the resistor. Right, so what carries current to the Zener diode is the current going through that resistor there, the RS. If we look at the schematic diagram, this is your O. So if I ask you to measure EO with the oscilloscope, you're going to put the actual probe at that point 